Tar Heel, North Carolina, is a tiny town with just one main road. The fog gives way to strong smells of lard and manure. What you don't tend to see too much of here is people. The population is only 69. That doesn't include hundreds upon hundreds of hogs. You see, in Tar Heel, about 30,000 hogs are killed each day at the Smithfield Packing Company. We came here to meet with Smithfield executives for an interview about the ongoing effort to unionize its workers. The company's public relations official told us that, depending on how the meeting went, they would decide whether or not to let us into the plant with our cameras. After the interview, they took us outside and introduced us to a group of workers they had handpicked for us to speak with. Workers, the company said, who were against the union. I really don't know what's going on, you know, because I keep working. I come in here for working, for make a living, and my check. <laughs> So when you hear that folks still want to bring a union here, what's the word on the inside? There, there's, there's a lot of folks that, that want it, and then you got a lot of folks that don't want it. If you had to vote on whether or not you would want a union in this plant, would you vote yes or no? Well, no, Brad, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want it, did you know? You don't want the union? No, I don't want it. Do you want to say publicly or? I, I, I wouldn't say public. You'd rather not say yeah. whether or not you'd want a union right. or not? Okay. After meeting with both the company's spokesperson and its selected employees, and doing a typically challenging now interview, I got the word. Smithfield would allow us to shoot inside the plant, the first time that the company had ever allowed a television news crew to record what goes on inside. In order to enter, however, we had to get prepared. The garments I put on here are required for everyone entering the plant. To keep the meat from contamination, And of course, it protects my clothes from the meat inside. Perfect. Perfect. As our small group navigated past offices, toward the processing and slaughter part of the plant, I wondered what we were about to see. This here, this is the main entrance for all of the employees. Yes. There's only one way to get in. This is, yes. this is the main entrance for all our employees. Yep. Let's go. If you look closely, you'll see a layer of foam coating the floor in front of the door we're walking into. It's meant to clean the bottom of the worker's boots. It also makes the floor slippery. In fact, most of the floor I walked on was damp and required extra effort so as not to fall. Though much of our tour was extensive, our camera time and access was much more limited. We were allowed only to record one section of the plant, and we were never allowed to shoot video of an entire hog. It's not as disturbing to see slabs of meat as it is to film what I saw, hundreds of hogs recently shocked and then bled out, hanging from hooks. This is the cut floor, one of the middle steps of the pork process. The meat you see here has been cut up into large sections and is now being divided into smaller portions where it's then deboned and the fat is removed. The automated part of the process gets the meat to the workers online. But then, it's up to the workers to slice the meat. This employee has to reach over and grab large slabs of the pork. The line moves swiftly and rarely stops, and each loin could weigh upwards of 10 to 12 pounds. Further down, workers cut off fat, quickly. Off to a different side, others pull sharp knives through large slabs of meat, separating them from the bone. They make it look easy, but you can see the workers have to really pull to get their knife through the meat, pulling that knife right towards their own bodies. Quickly, they have to sharpen their knives to get ready for another slab. There's a lot of hard labor happening here, continuous lifting and stretching for heavy, cold chunks of meat. Sharp knives are everywhere, and workers are standing very close to one another. The noise is so loud that workers are ordered by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration to have their hearing tested every year. The temperature here is about 40 degrees, and the potent smell of blood, innards, and bleach comes in waves, making one of our crew members almost succumb to nausea. With the blaring of machinery to drown out conversation, floating pig parts serve as the only distraction. This is what most workers do for six to seven hours every day here in Tar Heel. They get two 
30-minute breaks per shift. But some workers say that this job is still better than other jobs in the area. What's not in dispute is that it takes an enormous amount of hard work to get meat from the slaughterhouse to the dining room table. The days are long, the smells unrelenting, the work dangerous. But the line, the line is what I'll remember, it just never stops.